All right, this is day 72, and just gonna kind of go an overview of everything that's happened over the last few days. Um, so they did board up some of these window areas because they're waiting on, they call it a mullion. I guess it's something that goes in between two windows that are next to each other. So they want to keep working on the interior, and so they're gonna just have that board up. So that was a pretty recent thing, but it's pretty obvious right there. So I just thought I'd explain that. Um, I don't remember if I showed this, but we do have the Comcast line come in the house now that was moved so it's out of the way of the roofers. Um, and I guess I also don't remember if I showed this, but this framing that we're looking at here had to move over slightly to from where we're standing to the left um, to make room so that those uh, the soffits and gutters weren't sticking out in front of the window. Um, it's the way it is now is basically the measurements that were in the original drawings, but when they framed it in originally, um, this column here on the left was much narrower, and this column on the, or no, that was the right, and then on the left here was wider, so everything was shifted over um, where it shouldn't have been. So um, that's fixed, and then there's a ton of electrical going on here, but I'm gonna start with plumbing, because that was done first, so up here really the only new plumbing is in this bathroom so we have two sinks we had a long conversation about whether the sinks are going to have the faucets to come out of the wall or just regular faucets that come out of the vanity so we went back and forth but we decided with vanity just simpler easier cheaper all that um, I probably mentioned this before but we're going to have a like a little secret shelf in this area about two feet tall um, just more storage shower area laid out toilet area laid out um, all the plumbing work vent fan all that kind of stuff is in so yeah progress is happening there and I'll go downstairs and show the plumbing in the downstairs Um, so, yeah, this is where the plumbing is coming in. It's got to go over here. Got to go to a water softener. Then we'll have hot and cold come in this direction. And you can see some of the sewer plumbing and some of the just regular hot and cold plumbing coming this way. And then one of those lines coming from over there will be um, a hard water line to go out to the garden hose. It's going to go out that direction. Uh, out of the house. So that's there. Oh, sump pump too. So, um, sump pump, I'm going to ask them to move that um, back against the wall so it's not in the middle of the room, but um, sump pump line comes out. It's working and functional. They have an extension cord running over here for that and it's pumping water out um, if it needs to, which probably is not a lot, but um, at least at this point. All right, so let's, that's pretty much, I think, what we got for plumbing new and then electrical, you can see the wires everywhere. So electrical was here the past two days. So there's the box. Looks like they haven't got ran anything directly there. But this is where a lot of the electrical will feed to. And I'm going to put electrical down there for um, data closet, you know, servers, synologies, switches, modems, routers, all that kind of good stuff. Under the stairs, um, electrical in this room for... Water so or uh, ejector pit, sump pump, spare tools, things, whatever. Obviously, electrical will have to get run for the furnace. All that. I'm gonna drop electrical over here for future TV. Um, yeah, I asked them to move this switch to the other side. I think it makes more sense to have it in the room. So they'll just flip that around instead of having it on the inside of that. And. Yeah, tons of electrical. Obviously, every room has electrical, whereas the plumbing was only in one room. So, um, electrical, two gangs. There was a lot of places I asked to have two gang, four outlets, regular outlet there, switch, two gang outlet here. This one down there, I'm gonna make it be have a night light. So if you're ever under the desk area, you can just flip on the night light and be able to see what you're doing to plug things in. So. Uh, I think that'll be cool. I found some nice. We're using Legrand. Is it Legrand? Yeah, it's Legrand 
um, I believe, uh, outlets everywhere. So they have a, uh, a radiant collection and they have a nightlight outlet combo. So those should be cool. Um, light switches, light switches, four gang by side the beds, um, hanging pendant lights, hanging pendant lights there, um, can lights, four can lights in the ceiling. This area over here, we opted not to put a light in. It might get kind of dark because any light from over there is going to be blocked by this with the shadow, but um, it is what it is. We have we do have an outlet there, so if we do need to run a lamp or whatever, we'll have that option. Um, oh, and we put, snuck an outlet up there too, just for have something above shelving. If we ever need to plug something in above the shelving in the um, closet area, so that should be cool. Sconces. I think we're gonna have these sconces like raised up because like I would hit my head on this right now. So I think we're gonna ask to put those up like it like maybe like six feet five inches. It's probably higher than normal, but that's what we're thinking. Um, two lights in this stairwell. I probably could use three lights, but um, more electrical here. Electrical. Electrical, electrical. They're gonna clean. They did obviously a lot of electrical in here. Um, refrigerator, and then next up is what we're calling an appliance garage, which is like a covered cabinet area. So it's gonna have uh, a microwave, and then four gang with the nightlight option below that um, for all of the other appliances. Stove. Um, under cabinet lighting and then over here you know sink garbage disposal dishwasher all that kind of stuff um, a giant fancy pendant light hanging there above the dining room table fancy pendant light hanging above the kitchen island right in the middle of this beam so for this one they said there's they can't really there's not a good path to make that a full a functional three-way um, so I think what we'll be able to do is put a Lutron uh, Caseta Diva Smart Dimmer switch here and then put a Pico remote over here because originally I had this all laid out for five switches on this wall right here and one of them was going to control that but I think if we make it a Pico it will solve that problem so that should be good. Uh, I think that'll work. I need to remind them about this guy over here, because I do want an outlet down there, like in the middle um, with the nightlight. I think that'll be cool as you come in this door to have the nightlight option. Um, so that should be good. I'm messing with electrical over here. You know, electrical's everywhere. So then the big electrical was running electrical up and out of here. And then he figured out a way to make a path. I guess it's these big ones up here and bring it across and into here and then he popped through into the attic and then into the attic over to the furnace and to the uh what's the thing called um heat pump air conditioner on the other side so that's electrical all right so data real quick again right under the stairs i showed that from the bottom but um we're gonna feed comcast it's gonna come in from over here it's going to come down this wall, into this trench, um, through this trench, under here, and into here. So that's Comcast coax, and then out of there it'll hit the modem, switch router, all that stuff. And then Ethernet will feed back out, a bunch of Ethernets come back up here. One will go along this back wall, and then behind on the other side of that wall to the TV area. And then three of them will pop up in the ceiling, basically follow the path of this electrical and then punch into the other side of this room into that office two for the office and then one to pop out here for a security camera and then what else um, and then this wire here will basically backflow the same path that's for X uh, over the air antenna so it'll come back the same direction and then all the way down the trench back under here to antenna base and then another coax all the way back and then back around here to 
the TV over there. So that's a long trip, but centralizing the location of the TV antenna is the idea. So we'll see if that's that works. And then Ethernet in the closet, two in the closet, um, one in the new office, and then four Ethernet at all four corners of the new addition over here, over there, over there, and over here. And I think that kind of covers the Ethernet, um, but probably have more videos explaining more details on that. Um, so yeah, that should be good. That is it for, I think today is, uh, what did we say, day 72. See ya.